All right, so here we are. Um, we're back here, uh, Parker Nixon, with a review of Khan Academy and with a focus on the Khan Academy math, the adaptive math practice they have. So here I'm logged into, this is the web-based version. They also have a really outstanding iPad app and an Android app. So I logged in, this is for the first time, and it's asking me what grade I'm in that will help tailor the experience. So you put in for, I put in for a third grade student and it will kind of ask what uh, courses you're, you're uh, interested in. So we can do uh, you know, third grade math. That will automatically enroll me in this course, but you can also just browse and go there directly as well. So I usually, when I go on there, are my kids or students. Just navigate through here. The courses you can see, it, it, there's a lot of content, so sometimes it's kind of a little overwhelming. But it's um, for the math for students, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth grade math. You can see all the math here. It's available different grade levels. So again, third grade math. So there's lots of ways to navigate to it. You'll find there's several pathways to get to the same um, spot. But it's really this is the entire grade level. Of math, all the standards, adaptive practice, video instruction for each of these um, items. So, so there's a course challenge. When the first time you log on there, it will ask if you want to take the course challenge, which will show you what you already know, which I think could be a good idea in most cases. That will um, just level you and mark that some skills have already been mastered. Um, so I won't do that right now, but definitely think that is, is a recommended thing to do. And you can do that at any time. So if I don't do it right now, I can still later on go to the bottom here and take the course challenge here on the, on the bottom. And to see how this is organized, you'll see there's it's it's here on the right, it's also here on the left, the different math units. Um, so you can see it matches up intro to multiplication, intro to multiplication. One digit multiplication is right here, but here it's, it shows you how more details of what topics are in that unit, as well as how much of it you have mastered. So on the iPad app a couple days ago, I did a, a little bit with intro to multiplication. So you can see I've mastered a little bit of that, which also shows up here. So let me click in there to open that up. And then you'll see that we have a kind of breakdown of this unit. This shows what I've already done. So um, I've watched some of these videos. You see that blue icon. These have been par partially watched. And these skills, I've worked, I've worked on these and done pretty well. This one, once you're at two of these, uh, two of the three gray um, areas are shaded in purple, it means they, it's been mostly mastered. These ones, again, at one out of three, so partially mastered, but definitely an area where I need to uh, practice. So why let's try again. See this one too, this one is ready to move on. And you'll get the third fully mastered when you pass the, the unit test. So you wanna work on it until it's, it's, it's two, two of them are filled up and then it shows that you pretty much mostly know it and then you can wait till the unit test to have that fully mastered. So again, I recommend going, going through these topics. Take the quiz, which will review that and then you go through the next, the next uh, subject, I mean, the next topics here. You work through these, then do the quiz. Again, then you work through these practice problems, do the final quiz, and then you can do the unit test, and that will like kind of confirm and level you up to make sure that all those topics are mastered. You can also take the unit test right away. I can do that first, and then then show mastery quicker. Um, but for most students I do recommend just going through it sequentially because if you know it it's pretty quick it gives you four or five problems if you get them all right then you move on so you're not spending a lot of time on any of the topics if you know them so here so these are the actual practice these are the videos let me go to a new one so if I'm let's say this one I'm struggling with this I can watch the video here that it looks like a vegetable, but it's actually a fruit. 
And let's say that I eat two avocados per day and I eat two avocados per day for six days. Now, there's another, and we could say two plus two is four, you add another two. So, I'll skip through there, but that that's the video that goes over the topics. It can be helpful, some individuals love the video, some people don't. I think the, the bulk of the value here is actually the, the engaging and practice that's mastery based. So here, let's go to the actual skill. And here I have seven questions. And you'll see a couple of tools here. I still can review the uh, the video, or there's also an article, which is more of like a uh, a text-based explanation of this. So, you know, which expression equals five times nine? So choose the right one, and it will give me instant uh, feedback to let me know if I got it right or wrong. Also, just so you know, in this corner here, you can uh, you can have a scratch pad so you can uh, write on this area or you, know, you can, oh, sorry, I went over there, but you can, you can engage and solve problems. With the iPad, it's great. I mean, to me, it's not great to write with a computer mouse, but if you're on an iPad with like an Apple Pencil or even with your finger, it's a great uh, way to, to work on the math problems. So I'll close that down. So here's just rewrite three times five using repeated addition. Right, three, five times, drag and drop, check it. Now just to show you too, if for some reason I'm gonna get a problem wrong on purpose. So let's see if I say so this is four. That's not the right answer, but it will cue me to give it another shot so I can get help or it can move on. Um, so I can get help here. And this is really what I love and I know my, when my son did it in fourth and fifth grade, he really liked kind of reading through the explanation to uh, help solve the problem. Now, I solved it. Now, it still doesn't show that it's mastered. That's why you see down here it's gray, not green. But at least I, as a learner, I learned it. And then, but it won't give me credit for mastering that. So it'll still have me practice that skill more. So you can see how that, that, that works. I'm going to exit out here, but uh, and when you show master, when you get enough of them correct, it will it will level up and and fill in that this this next uh, gray block purple. So and then here on this unit, it shows how much of it is 22% mastered so far, and then you know I, I work through that, and then I can go on to the next topic. So here I'm going to navigate back to it's cueing me again to take the course challenge again it could be a good thing to do and just so you I'll show you what it looks like so there are you know 30 questions so it's not completely comprehensive it'll give you a good idea of what you know about third grade math but there's def definitely still some areas that it won't address so I wouldn't rely solely on this but it's a good early benchmark to see um, what a student knows for my own son I used it at the end of his fourth grade year, hey, let's quickly check in and let's do this for fourth grade, make sure you have it mastered, and then do it for fifth grade to see what you already know about a fifth grade math. And then it'll go through again these 30 problems, and then, uh, and then, then that will show you, if, if you do well on that, it will show you that you have most of this course mastered, so then you can kind of work on the areas that, have, that weren't addressed in, in, that, in that challenge or that you haven't shown mastery yet. So again, love this, uh, love this, this tool, great way for, for kids to work on at home for supplemental and math enrichment. Also, teachers are in the classroom to have students work at their own pace with built-in support. And again I, again, I recommend starting sequentially and just kind of working down the skills, doing the individual lessons, the quizzes, and the unit, and then the unit test, and working all the way through the bottom. And then when they're ready, they move on, move on to the next uh, level of math. You can go on to you know, fourth grade math, fifth grade, sixth grade, seventh grade, eighth grade, and just really, you know, kids can work at their grade level. I think kids ought to work on math that's at their level. So if they're ready to move on, they move on. Um, Pre-algebra, algebra, high school geometry, algebra two, trig, stats and probability, pre-calculus, Differential calculus, integral calculus, so lots of great, great uh, 
tools and again to me the the best part of it is that you get that like almost endless interactive practice that's uh, personalized for each each individual and go back to on the, the logo here. Okay, go back to the, my home menu. So again, Khan Academy, um, to me it's one of my, it's been around for a while and it's free, It's there's no advertisements. I think it's really one of the best learning tools for math, um, probably for third grade and up. I think for really young kids, probably not the best tool, but third, fourth grade and up through high school and college, um, a really wonderful tool. So check it out, Khan Academy, khanacademy.org, or you can download the iPad app or the Android app. And that's all for today. We will see you next time.